Now guys, you know that a constant thing about the end of the year is that different publications and organizations share their top people of the year. Last week, we shared the new Africans' top 100 people. Today, we'll take a look at Forbes. The Forbes lists are probably some of the highest anticipated lists on the continent, and each year, the publication shares some of the people it considers most outstanding in different ways. This Day Live shares with us the selection of Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, as Forbes Africa Person of the Year for 2014. The highly coveted awards are other distinguished finalists, such as South Africa's public protector, Tuli Madunsela, Nigerian author, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Aru Maote, and President of the African Development Bank, Donald Kabaruka. The judges who carried out the selection process are quoted as saying, Ali Kodangote is a lion of Africa in terms of business. He's second to none when it comes to investing in Africa, not just Nigeria. He's also a capitalist with a big heart. He puts his money where his mouth is, and his foundation is a step forward for a man who wants to make a difference on the continent. In his acceptance speech, Alaji Dangote expressed his gratitude, saying, My thanks also goes to my family for their unquantifiable support over the years, my diligent staff for their uncommon dedication to duty, my fellow Africans for believing in us, and my numerous friends around the globe who have been a source of inspiration. I will also like to specially recognize and commend the other nominees for making it up to this stage. Their achievement is no mean feat given the quality of the award. He went on to say, Of course there are challenges, but which are not insurmountable as long as we stay united in our resolve to overcome them. If we all join hands together, we can emancipate Africa from poverty, ignorance and disease, the triple obstacles to our development as a people. Congratulations, sir. Also released under the Forbes banner was the list of Africa's youngest power women for 2014. This list features 20 influential female leaders who are definitely worth looking out for as part of the continent's future power brokers and who are already creating change in their countries and communities. On the list are Fatima Zara Mansouri, Moroccan and mayor of Marrakesh, the third largest city in Morocco with a population of more than 1 million. Adao Sakwe, Nigerian, is advisor to the Honorable Minister, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. She works directly with the minister, advising him on his policies regarding private sector investments into the food and agriculture sector. Amy Jadesimi, Nigerian, is managing director of the Lagos Deep Offshore Logistics Base, Nigeria's only indigenous-owned deep offshore logistics base. Naisula Lisuda is from Kenya and at 30 is the youngest female member of the Kenyan Senate. Amira El Misiri from Zimbabwe is special assistant to the president of the African Development Bank and advises ADB President Donald Kabiruka on issues regarding policy, operations and strategy. Rimini Makama is from Nigeria and is the director of Africa Practice, Africa's foremost strategy and communications consultancy. Afwa Osei Ghanaian and Yasmin Bello Osage, Nigerian Ghanaian, are co-founders of She Leads Africa, a platform that provides the most talented female entrepreneurs across the continent with access to the knowledge, networks and financing needed to build and scale strong businesses. Fumzile Van Dam, a 31-year-old South African, is one of the youngest members of the South African Parliament. Tebogo Mashego, also from South Africa, is an entrepreneur and one of the very few women operating in South Africa's metal and aluminium manufacturing industry. Nadia Musaji, another South African, is co-founder Women in Engineering, a global non-profit organization aimed at attracting, developing and nurturing the next generation of women engineering leaders through various streams. Irin Mutungi from Kenya is the captain of the Kenyan Airways Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the first African female Dreamliner captain in the world. Toyosi Akirele Ogunsiji, a Nigerian, is a social entrepreneur and the founder of Rise Networks, a Nigeria-based private and public sector-funded youth interest social enterprise with a primary focus on wholesome youth and education development. Yvonne Kamati from Kenya is deputy head of mission at Kenya's embassy Somalia and is one of the youngest diplomats in Kenya. Kamayure Saint-Germain is from Rwanda and is State Minister for Energy and Water Rwanda. Adiat Disu from Nigeria is an international publicist and founder of Adire, a New York-based communications and brand strategy company. Adire launched the annual Africa Fashion Week in New York, one of the most popular international African-focused fashion events. 
Jamila Abbas, Linda Kwamboka, and Susan Oguya from Kenya are co-founders of MFarm, a software company that provides agricultural producers and buyers with the most recent retail price information about products. It also operates a virtual marketplace where consumers can buy their farm products directly from manufacturers while farmers can find buyers for their produce. Congratulations to our 20 Power Women. We look forward to seeing your continued achievements in the years to come. Africa is very blessed to have you all. Guys, for Still on the Matter today, we're sure you will relate. At African Celebsis, when you go to Obodo Yibo and they tell you, go back to Africa, you say they're racist, yet you will tell someone, go back to your village. True, right? We agree. Now guys, you might not realize this, but mountains play a very vital role in sustainable economic development. They provide sustenance and well-being to about 720 million mountain people. And of course, they also provide fresh water and energy. Now, on the flip side, people who live in mountainous areas have a higher occurrence of poverty. And of course, mountains are more prone to natural disasters, deforestation. So there's a lot to weigh and decide on, as you can see. We're going to take a quick break now, but we... We'll be right back.